If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already. And with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 151 of my player here on FIFA 15. It's the final game in season number 6. We've got West Bromwich Albion away from home to end the year here at Arsenal. Still unsure whether we're going to try and get into the first team at the beginning of next season or just straight up immediately go out on loan. Uh, in season number seven. I haven't as of yet decided. Starting Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain at central defensive midfield, I would have preferred Wilshire or Ramsey in that role with the Ox just at out and out centre mid, but never mind. It's a strong lineup we're starting in. Theo Walcott on the right, Kazula on the left. Uh, we'll play this game and then uh, we'll have just kind of a quick season roundup at the end of this particular game and then that will round us out for this season and then on Tuesday we will get into season number seven where we will either try and force our way into this Arsenal first team properly in uh, the first few games of season number seven or we'll uh, just immediately go straight out on loan or look for a loan move and then obviously you guys can vote as to whether I go there on loan or wait for another deal etc but uh, for now for this final game of season number six we will try our best to score as many goals as possible to try and boost well we can't actually boost our league position can we we're in fifth four points away from fourth so we can't go up and we're four points away from sixth so we can't go down so we're definitely finishing fifth but it's a big game for West Brom because they can improve or drop depending on this result and results around them so uh, we'll have to do our utmost to uh, try and you know be professional and play to the best of our abilities and not let any of the other sides in and around West Brom and Albion down when it comes to maybe rolling over and letting them get a win we definitely don't want to do that Mike Oliver is going to be even though that's what was one thing they should do next for FIFA is face scans on referees that would be sick I'd love that but anyway I'm getting carried away with FIFA 16 stuff I'm actually planning on doing kind of a mini FIFA 16 what I'd like to see kind of series in uh, you know towards the end of the summer but that's neither here nor there anyway let's crack on shall we West Brom away we'll try and end the season in style if we can Wilshire, I'll call for this around the corner and try and slot through Theo Walcott. That's a lovely ball. Theo Walcott in on goal. Tell him to have the shot. Theo, what a block by Clarkson. Brilliant chance for us to get off the mark. I need some assists from through balls as well. But unfortunately, Theo just didn't seem to want to accelerate onto that. He just kind of jogged onto it and then all of the defence caught up with him. Brilliant opportunity to go one in in front. But unfortunately, we've wasted it. Call for it from the Ox here. Try and play in Santi down the line, which we have done wonderfully. Now, is he going to work it back to us? Perhaps he is. I'm tempted, so sorely tempted to go for a shot from distance here because we do need goals from distance. But I haven't really got any space. Now we've worked some space, but I'm going to have to go just to make... This is terrible. This is really bad football, but I need to get some accomplishments. I need to get goals from outside the box and I need headers. So I am just going to have to go out of my way to uh, score some, some goals like that. In uh, this game, I'm just going to hit this one from distance. Oh, just wide of the post. Two good chances shot shooting from distance. It's, it doesn't look very realistic, but you have to... Oh, it wasn't the best of shots. It did curve back towards goal, I guess. But you, I guess I have to do what I've got to do to try and get these accomplishments to improve my overall rating. So uh, this game and then perhaps some of the friendlies next season, at the beginning of the next season, might see me just trying random shots from distance or purposefully you know, taking my time and being a little bit selfish to just run around with a ball to work an opportunity for myself just to you know, play FIFA as a game rather than play it as football and uh, just to try and get these accomplishments because we need them so badly to try and get ourselves up a rating here's Ramsey oh he's into Wilshire Wilshire with a chance there's 1-0 Arsenal I don't I won't feel so bad now we said that last time now that we actually have a lead I uh, won't feel so bad about uh, having those shots from distance nice ball by Ramsey actually to get that round the corner and a good finish by Wilshire keeper got something on it but never mind Arsenal 1 West Brom 0 and I just want I want some accomplishments man it's what my main aim, my main aim is now for this game and for all the pre-season friendlies next year Here's Santi on the left. Could use Aaron Ramsey. Has done. I'll call for it here. I've got a bit of space, but I'm I'm inside the box. I'm now outside the box. There's the shot. Good save by Jakubovic. Walcott with the finish. That's 2-0. Wow. We, another long shot that has led to an, a, a teammate's goal. We had that yesterday, didn't we? In the uh, My Player video yesterday. That was a really good shot, actually. Snapshot from the edge of the box. What a finish by Theo. Seriously. Really good technique. Wonderful finish. 2-0 Arsenal. And uh, now... 
we're uh, kind of cruising to victory here at the Hawthorns. Surely we can score a long shot or a header in this game at some point. Here's Martin Kelly, lays it off to Guillermo. Trying to liven things up here by having a shot from the edge of the box. West Brom so close to get themselves an equaliser there. That's the first chance of this second half, really. And uh, the, the only chance that uh, West Brom have had that has really caused us some problems. That one coming back off the post. But now they've thrown it straight to Alexis. I'll call for through, but he's been tackled. But I'll try and keep it in and get it back to him, which we have done very nicely. He's going to go inside to Ramsey. I'll call for the through, but he's going to ignore me and go to Wilshire, though. We have still got the ball. That's a nice ball into Ramsey again. Laid out wide to uh, Callum Chambers. Down the line to Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. I'll call for the cross. Can we go for a header? No, I'm not going to win it. Oh, we need headers as well as shots from outside the box. So that was a good opportunity to get one of uh, the two sorts of accomplishment that we need. But unfortunately, it just wouldn't quite uh, drop for me in the air there. And the defender beat me to it. But Wilshire might... Is he going to work it across this way? I'll call for it here. Chamberlain into me. I mean, uh, I don't know where to go. I'm probably going to just try and work my, well, work my way back outside the box. Then try a fake Rabona, take it around the defender, go for the shot, keeper lets me down. Makes a great save, another chance for a goal from outside the box, unfortunately denied by Jakubowicz. We've had a few, a few now in this game, just can't quite seem to find the, uh, the back of the net. Keeper's always on point when it comes to his diving saves. I'll call for this from Ramsby up from Ramsey, I'm not going to get it, but Chambers might dink it into me, Ramsey might dink it into me. Here's Theo, lovely first touch, but keeper's going to beat him to it. Callum Chambers just going on a lovely run here. Theo has pinged that all the way out there looking for Alexis Sanchez. He's going to find him as well. I'll call for it here on the edge of the box or I'll go for a through ball. Look for the assist. Oh, I thought that was in. Wilson with a brilliant strike on his left foot. Hit that so flush and I could have sworn that was flying into the bottom corner. That would have been a, another part to an accomplishment that we need. We need assists from through balls. That was a through ball to Jack, but unfortunately he smashed it wide of the post. Very, very close to getting us... Uh, another step closer towards being 82 rated but unfortunately we've come close but not close enough so far in this game with long shots, headers and through ball assists. If we could kick up towards me, I'll try and head it on out wide, I wasn't able to win the header. Martin Kelly comes away with it, into Hesketh. Can West Brom get themselves some sort of consolation goal at the end of the second half? They can't. There goes the final whistle in the final game of Season 6. We get a 2-0 victory. We were involved in the goals and uh, pleased to have been able to get ourselves three points on the final day. A good performance for us personally. Not quite able to get the accomplishments that we wanted or even progress on the accomplishments that we wanted to get progress on. But the team got three points and that's the most important thing. And we definitely put in a decent performance to boot. So uh, we'll do a quick season roundup. I'll skip until the very end of the season so that uh, you know all of the competitions actually get completed so uh, I'll do that on the calendar and then I'll cut back and we'll have a quick season roundup to end out season number six in actual fact it's the European Championship so I'm not sure whether we'll be selected for this I'll advance up until the uh, tournament because of course we were selected for the World Cup in 2018 but then didn't get played in any of the games so I'm not sure whether it's going to be the same for the Euros as well. It, I haven't had an email even. No, we are not even been selected for the European Championships. Fair enough. Well, I'll stop simulating then and I will actually skip to the end of, uh, of the season. BRB. So here we are then at the end of season number six. We'll have a quick look at all of the competitions that we're involved in. Have a look to see who won the golden boot in the Barclays Premier League, etc. The individual stats. And uh, we'll finish by uh, having a look at the other top leagues around Europe so we could perhaps get an idea of somewhere we might like to go out on loan next season. And uh, also we'll have a look and see what our final stats were for this particular season. But we finished fifth in the league with Arsenal. In the end, still four points away from Aston Villa because they won on the final day. Spurs dropped to place in the uh, final round of fixtures as well. The Community Shield was won by Man United at the beginning of the season. Can't remember whether we were involved in that or not, to be completely honest. Newcastle won the FA Cup on penalties against Chelsea after a 1-1 draw. We weren't even involved in any of the knockout rounds for that. Uh, Capital One Cup was won by Arsenal, but we were dropped for the uh, for the final, which was extremely disappointing. It was a penalties win as well. We could have done with an accomplishment, scoring a penalty in a shootout, but never mind. Chelsea won the European Super Cup, and we'll have a quick look and see who won the other European competitions. And then uh, England won their opening group stage game against Hungary 3 one and then drew no against Russia 3-1 sorry and then drew 1-1 with Hungary and uh, they haven't as of yet played the third group stage game against Germany but it appears that the game is frozen on me here so I will be right back and then we'll uh, continue on once I've reloaded the save 
Had to reload the save a couple of times because it kept freezing on me in that screen, unfortunately. But even after reloading the save and skipping to the end of the season again, still got a 3-1 win against Russia and a 1-1 draw against uh, Hungary here. Uh, was it Hungary or was it Bulgaria? It was Hungary, uh, England in Euro 2020. So uh, we'll leave things as they are then for now here at the end of the season. And Danny Welbeck's picked up a broken collarbone playing for injury and will be out for playing for England and will be out for eight weeks, which is unfortunate for him. But uh, everything else has remained unchanged, obviously. And uh, we'll have a quick look at uh, some player stats. See where we came for the Golden Boot competition. We didn't play many games, but we still finished 13th in the goal of the season competition. Goal of the season in the top goal scorers. Uh, list. Uh, Ram Percy wins the Golden Boot with 19, then Rooney with 17, Javinho of uh, Liverpool with 15, and Cavani of Chelsea with 15 as well. Assist wise, I doubt we'll be on this list whatsoever. Uh, is there a Chesnoy there? There's not. We didn't get many assists this year whatsoever, did we? And we're not on that list. Unsurprising. Uh, Minile gets the Golden Glove. No, Courtois, sorry, gets the Golden Glove. Minile comes second. Uh, Chesney got 10. Is Ospina in there as well? Spinner on the list? He is, with two. Two clean seats for Spinner in the Barclays Premier League. Nicely done. Nicely done. Uh, let's have a quick look then at the squad report, and then uh, we'll head into the next season, and that will kind of be it for today's episode. So... Do you want to see the full squad report? I'll just, I'll do it. I'll have a look at me and then I'll just scroll through the full squad report as we end. But we're up one at 81 overall, despite apparently none of my stats improving, which is a lie because we know the finishing definitely went up to because we uh, got the 200th goal of our career. 87 ball, con ball control, 80. 89 ball control, sorry, 87 dribbling, 84 finishing, 84 acceleration, 82 agility, 86 stamina, 88 sprint speed. But we're only 81 rated. All of the important stats. I mean, shot power is only 76, and I'm sure when that improves, that uh, our rating will go up again. But still, I'm I'm pretty sure we should be 80 or 83 rated with that stat list. But we scored 12 goals in 17 games, got three assists in all competitions in all of the games we played this season. We're now valued at 12 million after uh, Arsenal paid 11 million for us from Atleti. Uh, I'll just quickly scroll through the uh, squad report so you guys can see it then at the end of the uh, the end of the episode. But thank you very much for watching uh, today's episode. If you did enjoy, then feel free to hit the like button, of course, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we will be heading into the next season at the beginning of the next episode, and uh, we'll play the pre-season friendlies, and we'll see if uh, we're involved in the first Barclays Premier League season game. If we aren't, or I'm, I still haven't decided whether I'm just going to jump straight into a potential loan deal. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you think I should just go straight out on loan and not even try and get first team football here at Arsenal next season, then let me know. And if you want me to do that, then I will do. And then obviously you guys will have the opportunity to vote at uh, whenever we get a loan deal that I think is worth having a vote for. One that I'd be interested in moving on. But uh, not really too much movement in any of the squad, to be honest. A couple of players up one. Coquelana's up three, so that's decent enough but Mr. Ertzel's up 1 at 88 and some of the elder players now losing a lot of ratings Per Mertesacker, Acceleration 18, Agility 17 Balance 15 what a wonderful wonderful centre back amazing stuff but that is going to bring today's episode and this season to a close, thank you very much for watching and like I say hopefully you enjoyed, if you did leave a like let me know your feedback in the comment section down below and uh, I will see you next time